The Claymore is one of the ever-present old reliables in the From Software catalog. So in my most recent run of Elden Ring, using this battle-tested weapon, I got a bit curious. What is the history behind the Claymore? Where exactly did its name and design come from? First, let's discuss the name. Claymore comes from the Scottish Gaelic word Claymore, and literally means greatsword. Etymologically, we can trace this word back to the Gaulish word that I will not try to pronounce that spawned Latin words like gladius and gladiator, which I thought was a cool relationship between cool words. Now, what about the design of the weapon? The claymore is characterized by its V-shaped crossguard. At the end of either side of this crossguard is the design that piques my interest the most. These four adjacent or adjoined circles create a design called a quatrefoil. This is a symbol rooted in Christian symbology that can still be seen today, especially in the stained glass windows of churches. Here are two examples that I found in my area, one being at the St. John the Evangelist Church in Orange, New Jersey, and the other being at the Resurrection of Our Lord Church in Philly. According to Friedrich Rest's book, Our Christian Symbols, the quatrefoil, and I quote, is symbolic of the four evangelists, the four gospels, the four Greek doctors, and the four Latin fathers. He also mentions how the quatrefoil can symbolize anything of the church in fours, a potential example of this being the four marks of the church. So that was my little foray into the history of one of my favorite weapons in the series. If you like that quick addition to my usual build guides, be sure to let me know by subscribing or leaving a comment down below. The build you've been seeing in the background is a pretty standard light roll build with two-handing and just enough faith to use Golden Val. I slapped on a heavy infusion with Lightning Slash as the Ash of War, along with the Shard of Alexander, to give me a solid buff along with a strong attack. I also made good use of the Axe Talisman for better charged attacks, to make use of that wonderful poking R2 attack. The Claymore doesn't have any flashy moves like its somber weapon counterparts, but it's a solid staple in the series and a must use for any lover of greatswords. Now that we all know a little bit more about the history behind it, why not give the Claymore its first or another try in your runs? 